Before heading into the season, there were a lot of question marks surrounding the Menominee football team after how much leadership in senior production they lost from last year. Yeah, that's right. But the Maroons were confident they had the players in-house to once again contend this season. One of those difference makers early on has been junior Tanner Terkoff. He's made the switch from wide receiver to quarterback this season, and it's very clear he's going to make an impact no matter where he lines up. Here's this week's player spotlight. From catching touchdowns to throwing them, Menominee's Tanner Tarakoff's impact on the field is undeniable. After helping the Maroons reach the D7 state championship game last season as a wide receiver, Tarakoff has welcomed a bigger role this season as the Maroons' starting quarterback. Tanner's made a great transition. Now he has to know everything and know what everyone's doing. He's done a great job. He's taken that leadership role, and um, I'm really happy with where we're at this point in the season. Um, he'll continue to improve. He wants to improve. We talk every week. We talk over the weekend, uh, chatter about game film, uh, what can we fix this week, and so I, I think he's taking those steps. Uh, we're not where we're going to be in a few weeks, but I'm happy with where we're at right now. I kind of knew from last year that I was going to have to take over under center, so I knew I had to come out here in the summer with the guys, start throwing the ball, because didn't really throw last year, so, and then, you know, everybody's been really great about helping me, you know, I've kind of eased into it a little bit, I wasn't as comfortable in the beginning throwing the ball, but now I've, I've eased into it and it's getting a lot better for me. Taking over for his older brother Trevor, who was an All-State performer last season and now a member of the Northern Michigan football team, Tanner has some big shoes to fill. They are different and I appreciate that individuality. Um, so learning to coach them in different ways. Um, Tanner's getting maybe a little more of the grittiness like Trevor had. Trevor was really gritty and, and sometimes I had to tone him down. Uh, Tanner's starting to get some of that, but not, not quite where Trevor had that all the way through. Uh, Tanner, he's a little more easy going. Sometimes I got to realize, hey, we got to get focused now. So an easier going guy than, than Trevor, I, I would say. While the brother's approach to the game may be different, the pair shares a similar competitive spirit. I hate losing and I don't think anyone likes losing. And, you know, my brother, he's been a big part of that. Just being around him, he loves to win. I love to win. So he's always been around just before the games, we text each other, just I'll text him about how he's doing. He'll text me, he'll tell me what I need to do, what I need to do better. I'll talk to him, I'll try to give him the best advice uh, I can. And yeah, he's, he's a real great role model for me. We're on him and, and he takes coaching, which we appreciate and he wants to get better. Uh, he knows we want to continue to get better and, he, and he's a team guy, he still wants to win. So when you bring in that competitive spirit, uh, he knows if he plays well, the team's going to do well also. That win at all costs mentality was on full display in Menominee's week one victory over Marinette. In his first game as a starter under center, the Maroons didn't skip a beat. They wore down their crosstown rival, capturing a big win in the annual m and game. That game I wasn't throwing very well, so you know I, I had to try to impact the game one way or another, and that was either getting my teammates the ball or trying to do it myself. And you know my teammates were blocking well for me that whole game. The uh, line was playing well, and you know they were just giving me holes, and I was just hitting them the best I could. Tarakoff made strides as a passer in a Week 2 victory over Hancock and will look to improve as he gets more comfortable in his new role. His strong supporting cast will help his development as the season progresses. We see the line has been around for a while, so they know what they're doing, and you know I feel real comfortable behind them and doing everything I do behind them. And then you know my backs and receivers, I feel comfortable giving any one of them the ball. So. You know, it's nice having the guys around you that can make plays for you, and it's nice having the line that will block for you and do whatever they can to help you guys win. Yeah, I'm happy so far, I guess, with uh, the effort and commitment to getting better. Um, we've had some wins where we've won by a good margin, but I think the focus has still been on getting better. So uh, no matter where we're at in the game, at whatever point of the game or in practice, uh, we really take that serious, and, and uh, the team tries to push each other to get better each drill and then each rep in the, in the game as well. While the offense takes shape, Menominee's defense will continue setting the tone. Tarakoff is as committed to stopping touchdowns as he is to helping score them. Look at him defensively, he's been great. The range that he shows and the speed, um, he's got sprinter speed. I hate letting him score, that's that's the biggest thing. Just don't want him score, keep him out the end zone, whether that's making a tackle for a loss, uh, getting in on a tackle that I wasn't even close to, and my teammates get, getting an interception, knocking the ball down, just whatever I can do out there to help the team win.